My name is Katie and I'm part of Convention Video. What is your name? Tata. And what is your name? Oh, I'm Becca. Becca? Yep. Hi, I'm here with? No. Uh, Debbie. Hi, Miss Debbie. And who might you be? I'm Caddy Noir from Monster High. Oh, I love that. Uh, you were speaking to Sebastian Krieger. What is your name? Oh, hi, I'm Takeo. We're here at NecoCon. Can you tell me a little bit about your NecoCon experience this year? Uh, it's been really good. been doing panels with my friends and walking around and seeing all friends I haven't seen since, you know, last NecoCon and eating food and... Yeah. Um, have you had a favorite NecoCon snack? Um, anything that puts calories in my stomach because I forget to eat a lot. That is uh, something that I definitely did yesterday. I ate a slice of pizza until I think 5 p.m. and that was a mistake. I see you have lots and lots of ribbons. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about them? All right. So this is for the ribbon game. I don't have the most. I'm probably not going to get the most, and that's fine by me. I just have fun collecting and talking to people. Um, you earn these by talking to people. Uh, this year, you're going to be looking for this big old button right here. If you need to zoom in on that later, go for it. <laughs> um, but you find people with these buttons, and they can tell you how to earn their ribbons. Uh, but you can earn ribbons by doing the basics of answering a trivia question, um, Sometimes it's as simple as saying your favorite character or even doing a task. I love that. And so that is the ribbon game. Yeah, that's literally it. It's like collecting Pokemon, only you can touch it. I love that. So, uh, and you can design your own to pass out too. Oh, you know what? I might, I have to think about what I would, what I would do. Yeah. But I will definitely think on it. What have you enjoyed seeing this year for NecoCon? Oh, um, it was definitely the concerts. Uh, Yugiri and Sarashi, they were they were really cool. Uh, Tata, you are dressed as Bayonetta. Is that your favorite fandom? Yes, it is. So I have heard that there are three of them. Which one is your favorite? Bayonetta 2. Is there a reason? Um, just the story and the outfit. I love the hair. It's way easier to deal with. I can confirm Bayonetta is absolutely top tier. Takio, what kind of cat are you? Uh, oh, I'm... I'm a calico. I love that. Calicos are some of the most beautiful kitties out there. Thank you. Is Barbie one of your main cosplays? Um, no, I just started cosplaying Barbie awesome. after seeing the movie. Right, right. Great movie. I am absolutely stunned by your cosplay. Is this one of your favorite cosplays? Uh, for right now. Right now. Okay. Right. Could you tell me your character? Um, Medion from Final Fantasy XIV. It's a really good one. Is that your favorite fandom? Uh, it's up there. Do you have like a, a top three? Disgaea, Final Fantasy, and probably more Disgaea. We love that. What made you bring this costume to NecoCon? So, I actually designed it two years ago, but I didn't have the budget to put it together. Um, I think this year was a really good year to do that. I. Um, I finally finished it, turned out exactly how I wanted it to. So I said, why not show it off at NecoCon? Absolutely. Is this your first NecoCon? This is my second. Oh, okay, what, can't, what got you to come back? I'm on staff. <laughs> is this your first NecoCon? Uh, no, it's my third. Yeah? Well, well no, third. Okay. Uh, what keeps you coming back to NecoCon? Just being with friends and how big the convention is. Is this a local con for you? Yes. Okay, so it's like your home con? Yeah. It's wonderful. Is this your first Neko con? No, I've been coming here since 2015. Do you have a favorite year? Um, 2018. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. It was just, that one really stuck with me. Was there like a, do you mind sharing like a memory from 2018? Um, I guess because I had been out of the state for a few months. And then coming back, and my first thing I did coming back to Virginia was going to Neko Fun. So it was just a really happy, like, welcome back for me. Could you tell me the first Neko Con that you attended? Um, it would be Neko Con 3, like 20 plus years ago. What year was that, if you can remember? 
Yeah. Uh, it was before 2000. <laughs> well, that is certainly a committed NECOCON member, uh, or at least an attendee. What kind of, what keeps you coming back? It's right around the corner. So it's your local My home. friends are here, and it's right around the corner. It's cheap, and I have fun. Takio, how long have you been coming to NECOCON? Oh, um... Oh, since uh, NECOCON 14, when my friend Reiko invited myself and uh, our friends Akiko and Miyoko. Can you tell me a little bit more about your friends? Well, uh, Reiko is about this tall, Miyoko is about that tall. We're, we're all about, well, Akiko, well, we, we're cats and we, we come to NECOCON. We're some, we're, we've been friends for a very long time. Uh, they're around here somewhere, but I'm, I, I we kind of got separated. No worries. Do you have a favorite NECOCON? Um, no, I don't, because every time I come here, I have such a great time. And every, each NECOCON has a different memory. What is one of your most special memories of NECOCON? Oh, um, they don't Definitely, every time we go into uh, Masquerade, we always have a great time. We get to meet all the cosplayers and just see their fantastic work and all the effort that goes into that. I also spend most of my time in the uh, arcade, but, you know, gamers get a game. <laughs> see, would you say that gaming is one of your favorite parts of NECOCON then? Oh, absolutely. Is this your first NECOCON? Uh, actually, no, this is my second. What made you come back? Um, I do think it was the the, um, the audience. I feel like a lot of people that come here usually they've like been here before, so I'm like, oh, you know, I should I should go back to NecoCon and see like what's new. Are you a local? I am. How do you feel about uh, NecoCon's growth? Um, it grows pretty well, actually. Um, it's consistent. It doesn't do like explosion to where like staff can't handle it. And it's been nice seeing the convention go from the Holiday Inn in Virginia Beach to the Chesapeake Convention Center to here. Is there a dream con that you'd like to go to? Costume con. Oh my gosh, I'm going in February. I have to sleep there. Yeah. Do you have like a dream costume for for you? Not currently. I guess this was kind of it, my biggest project, but I don't know, maybe, hopefully someday. It turned out stunning. So honestly, kudos to you, my friend. Thank you. Do you have a, a dream cosplay that you've not done yet? Um, uh, it's a design from Sakizo called Frau, and it's like a snowflake themed outfit. It's big ball gown, corsetry, snowflakes, uh, all different things. I just, I have everything to make it. I just haven't started really making it. I have a ton of fabric at home that I can very much att attest that like, me too, girl. Me too. Is there like a dream cosplay that you have? Well, I'm wearing it right now, but my other dream cosplay is Aki from Street Fighter. Ooh, yes. Are you having fun this year? Almost definitely. This is by far out of the conventions that I go to. I think NecoCon is the most fun because there's always someone new for me to meet considering I'm from the Midwest. If there were a dream con for Takio to attend, where would it be? Um, definitely every NecoCon that ever exists and through time. I love that. I love that you are absolutely committed to NecoCon.